We talk a lot about leadership and making a movement. So let's watch a movement happen, start to finish, in under three minutes, and dissect some lessons. So first, a leader needs the guts to stand alone and look ridiculous. But what he's doing is so simple, it's almost instructional. This is key, you must be easy to follow. Now the first follower here has a crucial role. He's going to show the others how to follow. Now notice how the leader embraces him as an equal. So it's no longer about the leader, it's about them, plural. Notice how he's calling to his friends to join in. Now it takes guts to be the first follower. You kind of stand out and brave ridicule yourself. So I think the first follower is an underestimated form of leadership. The first follower is what transforms a lone nut into a leader. <laughs> Can we turn up the volume just a bit, please? All right, now there's a second follower. This is a turning point. It means the first has done well. Now it's not a lone nut and it's not two nuts. Three is a crowd and a crowd is news. A movement must be public. It's essential that everybody see more than just the leader. They need to see the followers because new followers emulate the followers, not the leader. Now here come two more and there's three more. This is our momentum. This is our tipping point. Now we've got a movement. <laughs> So as more join in, it's no longer risky. So those who were on the fence before now have no reason not to join. They won't stand out, they won't be ridiculed, but they will be part of the in crowd if they hurry. So eventually over the next minute, you'll see the rest that prefer to stay with the crowd come in because you know, eventually they'd be ridiculed for not joining. So ladies and gentlemen, that is how a movement is made. So let's recap what we learned. If you are a version of the shirtless dancing guy all alone, remember the importance of nurturing your first few followers as equals, making sure that everything is clearly about the movement and not you. <laughs> be public and be easy to follow. But the biggest lesson here, did you catch it? Leadership is over-glorified. That yes, it started with the shirtless guy and he'll get all the credit, but you saw what really happened. It was the first follower that transformed the lone nut into a leader. There is no movement without the first follower. So as we're told that we all should be leaders, I think that would be really ineffective. The best way to make a movement, if you really care, is to courageously follow and show others how to follow. And when you find a lone nut doing something great, have the guts to be the first one to stand up and join in. And what better place to do that than at Google Zeitgeist. Thank you.